What up YouTube, Mr. Mac here and welcome back to episode 6 of our Lynx FC Road to Glory in Football Manager 2020. This is the chain wreck and oh my gosh, I wish I could share with you what has happened since the last time that we spoke. It's been it's been astounding. So the last episode that you saw was us claiming the Gibraltar League title on the final day of the season, um, or sorry, and playing the final day of the season um, to earn ourselves a spot in the Champions League for the upcoming season. Now, I have just recorded recorded <laughs> an episode uh, playing in the Champions League. And as you can see, uh, we we came up against HJK and the first leg was an absolute disaster. We conceded four goals and just two goals in the last 10 minutes, absolutely shattering, terrible performance. Um, and yeah, you can see that they're not great from any of the boys there. Um, and then carried that 4-0 deficit into the Gibraltar Stadium, Victoria Stadium, at The Rock, in front of 2,159 fans. And we scored three goals in the first half an hour, and I was out of my mind excited. However, the recording didn't work, and so now we're here. <laughs> we lost our spot in the Champions League, fallen to the safety net of the Europa League, We've drawn KF Kukesi, um, and we will be playing them. The odds for that match are much better than the odds that we faced against HJK uh, at uh, $5 for us. So um, hopefully that's going to be really positive. As you can see here, Brad Power is suspended. He got sent off in the 87th minute of this match here against HJK. Unfortunate, but we have got some new signings here, mostly through the midfield and a few in the defensive line as well. So we've added Ethan Jolly here, who is just an absolute specimen of a man. Um, he will be joining us uh, in the centre of defence. We've also added Jamie Serra at 21, right centre defence, and Niall Serra, centre defence, 19. Um, I don't know if they're brothers, but I think we can call them the Sarah brothers. Um, who else did we add? We added Kelvin Morgan, who played his home debut and scored on his home debut in the Champions League uh, for Lynx FC last time out. Came from Europa FC. We've picked him up at 22, and he looks like he's going to be a really good quality strike partner for the man, the myth, the legend, Alberto Valdivia, um, who also scored two goals last time out. So, astounding. We have also just confirmed the signing of Sean De Los Santos. Um, he was available on free transfer, which is brilliant. We've picked him up. We're going to slot him into our midfield arrangement as well, alongside our other new signing, Leon Clinton, uh, 22. So, we've got... A fair bit of uh, fair bit of youth coming into the squad now. We're hopefully going to make make something of that here as we look at our team selection for the game today. Now we are playing away from home, so we're going to set that mentality to defensive. We're going with a four four two. Bradley Banda in goal, coming off of a clean sheet in his last game. You can see there we've got some decent star ratings here. I think we're actually going to start De Los Santos in place of Avalano there. Yep, just to buff the midfield, probably we're going to put in... We don't really need two Mazalas. We don't really want a Carolero as well. So we're going to put in central midfielder support just to cover some of that space in behind. And once we give him his squad number i would give him actually let's do it let's give him number 6 there we go slotting in that sort of defensive midfield role there with it well supporting midfield role and here we go look there is no real pressure on us but let's give the fans a good performance clinton looks stressed don't be stressed buddy you're okay you can do it 
he's still stressed. Uh, Sean De Los Santos, bit like a Swiss Army knife. He can play in central midfield. Good. Look, I'd rather have Brad Perry in the team, but we'll do our best without him. Let's see how we go playing defensively here. First ever Europa League game for Lynx FC, and we don't get the first highlight. It is Kukese coming forwards with the ball, but Clinton gets a good clearance. Only goes that far, and it now comes back on us and flashes past the uh, top corner there, which is nice. Still nil all. Much better than how we played against HJK, where they scored on their first highlight. We're going to say here, boys, we want some more from you, please. So give us a little bit more. Thank you, lads. It'd be even better if you gave us some more with the ball, in fact. Um, so let's see if we can get onto that here. Yes, Niall Sarah to parity. And then we turn it over again. Okay. I'm starting to see a little bit of a trend here with these European games. Traveling over 2,000 kilometers isn't great for anyone. Kelvin Morgan, though, is loving life. And Kelvin Morgan has blasted Lynx FC into the lead with a brilliant assist by Leon Clinton. Now, Avellano is probably feeling quite hard done by to have been dropped for this game. I actually think he's out of the side altogether. Oh, my goodness. Did I do that? Oh, no. He did come in as sub-7. That's okay. Um, after laying off two assists in the last game. But I think that midfield pairing of Clinton and De Los Santos is going to be really, really nice for us. So, good news is... We are one goal to the good here, and we are one goal to the good away from home, which is even more important in knockout games like this. We've been dominating offensively. I think the bookies were probably wrong to judge us here. Um, so let's go with assertive. Don't think the job is done. Yes, we're in the lead. Niall Serra, five interceptions made. Absolute hurler of a full debut here. Um, 7.0 rating in defense. Amazing things are happening with that young man. Uh, we're still all over them, really. 14 shots to five, six on target to one. We're at the 66th minute now. I think what we're going to do is we're going to, yeah, we're going to pull Leon Clinton out for Avellano, and then we're going to swap De Los Santos and Avellano over. Uh, and I think we will play, yeah, we'll drop Avellano into attack there. I feel like that's pretty much all. No, we're going to also take Jade and Parity out because he's at 73% there. So we're going to roll with those two subs for the last 20 minutes. Probably demand a little bit more out of the boys because the last thing we want here is to concede a goal. Great little foot in there. Good clean tackle. And we've pushed them back into their own half. It would be great to get an interception here or a turnover just to sort of slow down their flow. Unfortunately, we can't get that. But the good news is that they've taken a ping from way outside the box and they've got absolutely nothing. And Valdivia has succumbed to an injury. Now, unfortunately, the only other person that can play as striker is Leon Clinton and we've taken him out already. So we're going to drop a little bit of this. We're going to put Morgan into a poacher position by himself. We're going to bring Della Santos forwards as an advanced playmaker on support using his Swiss Army knife capabilities that were discussed in the pre-match interview. And then we're going to sub Valdivia out for Jesse Victory, who is going to come in and play central midfielder support alongside Tyrone Avellano. And we're just going to hope really, that Valdivia's injury is not serious enough to keep him out of the return leg because we really want to see some more goal scoring on home soil. Into injury time now. Bradley Bunder, let's, let's slow it down even more, folks. Let's do that. Jamie Sarah, just back off a little bit, son. Three minutes to go. De Los Santos is through here on debut. Clear-cut chance, but he was offside. 
So not a clear cut chance. We can chalk that one off. However, what we won't be chalking off is a 1-0 win to Lynx FC. And that is epic. Our first win in Europe. And now we just have to back it up. We've got a week. Valdivia is going to be out between seven weeks, two months. And if there's one thing that really crushes every positive emotion that you're feeling, it's an injury like that to your undoubtedly the best player of last season. And I'm going to tell him exactly that. Do not stress. There will be a spot for you when you get back. De Los Santos made a good debut. Fantastic. Kelvin Morgan scored the winning goal. He was brilliant for us out there. Um, oh, Julio Ribas coming along to watch our entire team play again. Let's go to the press conference. Kelvin Morgan was terrific. Valdivia... It's a pretty bad one, unfortunately, and we'll have to change our game plan a little bit. It's a huge blow. It really is. Um, do we have anything? Do we know of anyone? No, see, we've only really got midfielders here, so we're probably going to have to look for a striker that we know something about. And hmm, not really a lot of good things on the horizon there, are there? $50 a week is a youth player's $950 value. I can't really see us getting a whole lot out of that, unfortunately. Um, <clears throat> we have no free agent offers. We might be playing with one striker. Good news is, however, that we can pop De Los Santos up into that attacking midfield role at advanced playmaker, put him on attack, and then we can slot Avalano back in the midfield as our attacking central midfielder. And I think what we do here is we pull Bander out, Chad Bander. We don't really want to... Oh, he's only 18. Uh, we'll pull him out. And then we'll have a look at our under-23 squad here. And, oh, yeah, look. There's not really a whole heap of nice things here. Michael Ruiz, maybe. Mark Bailey. 14 finishing is a pretty good number. Hasn't played many games. Ruiz is looking okay. 19 years old, <clears throat> he's not registered, he's got a youth contract, and see now this is the real problem, um, Tyron Ota, interesting, interesting, let's do that. So I also brought Oton in. He's not as good, not really as good at all as Bradley Bender. So we're going to keep going with Bender. I don't know why I had to think that. All right. So we've got a week before our next game. We've also got a one goal advantage heading into the home leg. So that means that... I've forgotten their name. <laughs> it means that our opposition need to score twice to beat us here. So we've got a nice little buffer ahead of us um, when it comes to away goals. There you go, FK, Kukese. They need to score twice to beat us. I'm hoping, because we're going to have Brad Power back, even though Niall Sarah played really well, I think we're going to just slot Brad Power straight back into the lineup. Um, put Niall Sarah back on the bench, which I think is a good spot for him at this point in time. 
So we're just going to drop him into sub, I don't know, three. Swap in with Torres. Ooh, that looks like a bad decision on paper, but I think Niall Serra has the opportunity to get a lot better. Um, Mario Torres now gained Gibraltarian citizenship. Congratulations. <clears throat> what is really important here, though, is that we get... We continue on with our European adventure. Um, yeah, look, this this is this is big. Yes, we've also been given permission to have an extra coach. Four to seven weeks, Valdivia is out. That really hurts. Chad Bender, one of the best players, could become better than Sean De Los Santos, and Jan Pereira, who is. Uh, one of our under-19s right now, future prospect. Both of these players have been capped at under-19 level. Chad Bender, you can see there, really on the up and up. Not good enough to uh, not good enough to break through into the first team just yet, but we'll give him a bit of an opportunity at some point in the season. I'm sure um, he will get to pull on the Lynx FC first team shirt as we go through and uh, save this game. Here, look, I'm mean, I'm getting excited. I'm getting nervous about this uh, big game. I don't think I really want to make too many changes to what you're suggesting here. Um, oh, actually, oh, we may have a capacity crowd here. This is probably a better option. I think it means that we can stick with the sort of alignment that we've had. Um, because De Los Santos plays as a Mazala quite well on support there. Actually, no, I do not like that at all. I have changed my mind. Uh, advanced playmaker, attack, and you play... Yeah, you play support because we've got Avalano playing attacking there next to you. All right, Europa League fever. Let's go. The first leg was a real boost to morale. I'm confident as long as we can stick to our game plan. Jaden Parody thrives on important matches. He's ready for this. He's trained well. Kelvin Morgan could make the difference. Difference. He absolutely could, and this is going to be a match of fine margins. Leon Clinton appears to not be a great fit to your team's style. Are you kidding me? Oh, not just be a great fit. I was going to say, I was like, this man is a dream. It's, it's his sort of match. This is exactly what we want. We're confident. We are up and about for this game. And this is going to really set us on a positive trajectory. We can take some more prize money and some more big prize money from this. We are set. Bradley, no, Chad Bander. Amazing. Keep it up, my friend. My son, my man, I don't know. Okay, you've started scouting Perez, that's great. He doesn't look like he's gonna to amount to much, so I'm not sure why we're still doing that. Tawanda Mutoti has offered his services. He's a center back. I don't need another center back. I'd really love a striker. Um, Kian Ronan, also not really gonna help us out too much here. Uh, full back, really would like a striker. If you can bring me one of those, that would be amazing. All right. Europa League time. Here we go. No, not yet. <laughs> we are almost there. We are almost there. Second leg. Welcome back to the rock. Mo Woodward, sure. I'll put you on the loan list. I don't think any, anything's going to come of that. Not yet, anyway. All right. Lynx FC, it's time. Team selection. I'm not going to make any changes from... Yes, I am. I'm going to put Brad Power back to defend there. And we are going to submit our team. Mark Bailey, my friend, you are going to get... Sure, have number 50. Um, who knows if you're ever actually going to see the pitch or not. But just in case, you can have that. All right. Here we go. Leg two. Assertive. 
This is a brand new match. Let's make sure we win it. I've got faith in you, defense. Everyone is focused, motivated, or happy. Exactly what we want to be. Let's demand more. I feel like I want to push this a little bit. Let's be positive in front of our home fans. Delos Santos with the ball now. Home debut. Kelvin Morgan back to Delos Santos. To Tyrone Avellano. To Delos Santos. Kelvin Morgan! And Morgan scores his third goal of the season, and we are two goals to the good now, which means if they score two goals, they're going to win. <laughs> but our goal is to prevent that from happening. Now, some will say this looked a little bit messy in the build-up here with De Los Santos and Avellano taking the ball off each other's feet, Morgan just sort of getting in the right place at the right time, but it takes skill to do that. And we are now two goals to the good. So I'm very happy here. And Kelvin Morgan, what a start he's made as a new signing to the club, stepping up, playing in Europe for the first time. Um, couldn't ask for more. Really could not ask for more from the young man. Jaden Parody, big game player. Kelvin Morgan flies in from the back, doubles his tally, grabs his fourth of the season, and now... We are 3 nil up on aggregate. Let's look at this again. Morgan sailing through the pack of four defenders, and he gets us our second goal of the game. And now we are heading, well, 33 minutes gone. I'm going to say, give me more of that, boys. Give me more. Ducasey loses the ball. Jaden Parody, big man, big game, huge run. Not a great finish, unfortunately. Straight to the keeper there. But Jamie Sarah, now to Jaden Parody. And what a game this man is having. He was hyped up by the media. He really needs to work on his finishing, though. Every time I say something good about <laughs> it just turns to rubbish in the end. So maybe I'll stop saying he's a big game player from now on when he gets the ball. That was an interesting challenge from Leon Clinton. Parity again, just doing all the work. Jamie Sarah gets up, then to Clinton. And back in, in Jaden Parity's territory there. Our right-hand side defense is astoundingly good at the moment. Avellano, big header forwards, Kelvin Morgan. Thought he might have been there on the break. De Los Santos and Clinton play a 1-2. Parity then to De Los Santos. Oh, that wasn't too far away. We'll uh, close him down. 14 shots to two, six shots on target to none, with 46% possession. I think you could say we are dominating this game. Let's keep it going here, boys. You have every right to be extremely delighted at this. Okay, parity with the cross. Morgan goes close. Not quite there this time. And it could be a good little connection starting to build up there coming in from the right wing, the Parity Morgan job. Um, here's Avellano, famous for his long balls through the middle. Kelvin Morgan latches onto it and scores a hat-trick in just his fourth game for the club. He has already scored five this season. And what a signing this is turning out to be. Avellano with a lovely lofted assist there. That's the third assist that Avellano has got this season and the third assist in that style. Just picking the ball up in the midfield, lobbing it forwards, and uh, we're four goals to the good here. Honestly, can't see us getting caught. I'm very happy with this. Ethan Jolly on a yellow getting complacent. I think it's probably time for Niall Sarah to come in. Um, and take your place. Just We don't want anyone getting a second yellow card here, getting sent off. Uh, Kelvin Morgan, 73%. We may actually put Mark Bailey in here. I'm just going to confirm that substitution at 60 minutes. 
and I think then we we may look for it because um, we'll be having another game in about a week's time. So we lose the ball there, Isaac Vinay turning it over, and Kukasi is coming and closing with a cross into the box there. That's not great. It's really not ideal. Vinay's mistake has turned into a goal. Bander has been beaten for the first time in about two and a half hours of football, which is unfortunate. And now we see Kukesi again with the ball, but we get it back. And Clinton with a bomb to De Los Santos. De Los Santos scores on his home debut from 25 yards out. That is a absolute screamer. And it's now 5-1 to Lynx FC. The Clinton bomb, the Morgan header, the De Los Santos curler from way outside the box, sending the crowd absolutely wild. And I, I believe this is a deserved win. What we are going to do, he's had one assist now as well, but he's at 66%. We're well in front here. And I think it's only fair we bring Mark Bailey on, the young striker uh, brought into our youth academy this season. Probably never expected to be playing his debut in a Europa League game uh, <laughs> two weeks into his, uh, into his time with the club. But, you know, these things happen. Now, an absolute fairy tale would be to get Bailey a goal, but I feel like that's not going to happen. And that is a very good goal for Kakezi there. Um, curled in from the wing. Pastrati back to Rama. And Rama, yep, just Sarah just lost his man there a little bit. And, you know, that's actually not, not good enough, really. Um, Parity's looking exhausted. He's going to be okay because that is the end of the game. And we have our first aggregate win in Europe. Patrick for Kelvin Morgan. Uh, first win in Europe. What an absolute hurler of a day. Uh, Sell out crowd as well. Just everything you could possibly ask for. And we're through to the third qualifying round of the Euro Europa League. So if we just take a quick look here, um, we go third qualifying round. We're going to have a tough game against Varda Skopje. But then we have the fourth qualifying round. And if we win that, I'm getting way too far ahead of myself. I'm not even going to say it. I'm not even going to talk about it. So we get that goal, Kelvin Morgan with a hat-trick. We get another $400,000 here. And if you look at our finances now, they will be in a very healthy position here. We're at $1.3 million. It hasn't updated for our July uh, budget just yet, but a million dollars of income this month with $115,000 of gate receipts. Um and $876,000 of prize money. We are in a very, very good place. We're going to play Varda Skopje. I need to say, Morgan, absolutely incredible. Look at this. 15 headers won, four key headers, 9.7 rating, three goals in 50 minutes. And yeah, look, Rebus, it's, it's happening. We've had to rearrange some of our National League games, and that's, that's fine. Anyway, I'm going to do this press conference off camera. Um, I should probably check and tell you when we're going to be back. I think we'll be back in just over a week's time for the uh, home and away legs against Varda Skopje in the third qualifying round for the UEFA Europa League. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, it's been great having you here. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I was going to say something else and then I totally forgot what it was. So uh, on that note, <laughs> thanks for watching again and I will talk to you soon.